The number of unaccompanied minors at the U.S.-Mexico border this spring is on track to be the highest ever. CBS News correspondent Maria Villarreal has been covering the story from both sides of the border. We asked her to share what she's been seeing. Every day they see between two and 300 people. Every day. As a journalist, you're taught to just report the facts. But riding in the back of a pickup truck along the banks of the Rio Grande River, provides perspective most people don't usually get. When you see a group of migrants... She's scared. There's more? Yeah, there's more coming. Filled with children, babies, a 10-year-old boy traveling alone from Honduras. Said God, uh, God is watching over him. That's why he's not scared. It's hard to contain your emotions as a human. So he's 10? Um, he doesn't know where his dad is. His mom is in Honduras. There's a family up there that's going to kind of watch over him. Fleeing violence, poor living conditions, and corruption in their home countries, many travel for months to get here. They are hungry, wet, and desperate for a chance to request asylum. A right afforded to everyone, no matter how they get here, by a United Nations treaty in 1951 and U.S. law in 1980. Well, this is one of the main crossing areas where they like to cross because it's it's very secluded out here. We embedded with local constables who are helping respond to the latest surge of migrants in South Texas. You have to be escorted to phone. Because federal agencies won't allow media access to shelters or processing facilities. But you cannot be here. For decades, the border has been used as a pawn to push political agendas forward. But all efforts to find any kind of solution have failed. Local leaders on the ground, on both sides of the border, are tired of the federal government's inability to fix the system. Um, this is actually a church school that has now been converted into a shelter for migrants. Have a lot of people from a lot of different areas. Uh, one thing they have in common is they, they want to be able to have their chance to go into the U.S. Ask for asylum. City governments, nonprofits, and faith based organizations are once again bearing the brunt of this humanitarian crisis. So we just spoke with this family over here. She's six years old. They crossed the river. They'll be asking for asylum, and he said he wasn't scared. It is not about whether they should be here or not, they are here. So, what we need to do is work together to care for them correctly. The Biden administration refuses to call this a crisis. Instead, they see it as a very serious challenge. But the word crisis is defined as a situation that has reached a critical phase. A sentiment we clearly saw from the back of that pickup truck along the banks of the Rio Grande. Our Maria Villarreal reporting from the U.S.-Mexico border.